This is the book of Amos. The ninth chapter and the eighth verse. And it reads, Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Power, are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Before I get started with this lesson, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory unto the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Rachakwadash. Double honors unto the head apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well. Shalom unto the elders and the other bishops of the great millstone as well. Shalom, shalom. So this is the brother Ashamath back at you with another lesson. Uh, Lord willing, this is an edifying lesson. In this lesson, I want to talk about and say a few words on the destruction, which is synonymous with the salvation of the elect. When the Lord comes back, this place is going to be on fire. And ultimately, this, say, this place, which is known as Babylon the Great, America, uh, America has many names in the Bible. The sinful kingdom, Babylon the Great, Idumia, Edom, Basra, Egypt. This place, the place, so on and so forth. Marathiam, the land of double rebellion. America has many uh, nicknames in the Bible. But it's a place that's ultimately going to, destroy, going to be destroyed from off the face of the earth in the form of it's going to be destroyed to the point where not any relic is going to be left of Babylon the Great. It's going to be made an example out of for what happens when you rebel against the Heavenly Father and when you touch his people and when you run a wicked sinful kingdom. Amos 9 and 8. And it reads, Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Power, are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And if you go into the ancient uh, kingdoms that we were ultimately in captivity in, none of those places were destroyed from off the face of the earth. You can go out there and see the pyramids in Egypt. You can go out there and walk around the desert in Iraq where Babylon used to be. You know, the land of the Chaldees, Ur of the Chaldees. You can go out there and see ancient Rome. Visit the, visit the Colosseum. You can go out there and see the pillars in Greece, you know, in Athens and whatnot. None of those ancient uh, places were completely destroyed from off the face of the earth. But America is going to be in the form of a, it's going to be made a lake of fire through thermonuclear destruction, which is biblical. Let's go to Revelation 18. Let's get Joel 3 and 19, which I have on deck right here. And this is talking about America as well. And I made this point, so let's back it up with a precept. Joel 3 and 19. Egypt shall be a desolation. He's talking about America. And Edom shall be a desolate wilderness. That's what America is going to be. And it's the capital of the modern day Edomite Empire. It's also known as Idumia, Basra. For the violence against the children of Judah. Because they have shed innocent blood in their land. The blood of who? The saints. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indians, and Seminole Indians. And you so-called Haitians as well. This is Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice saying from heaven. Matter of fact, we'll go down here later. Let's get right to the point. Revelation 18 and 20. <clears throat> and it reads, <clears throat> yep. Revelation 18 and 19. And they cast dust on their heads and cry, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, the great city, the great city, another name for America, Babylon the Great, the great city, a city of merchants, wherein were, wherein were made rich, wherein were made rich all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costliness, for in one hour she is made desolate. It's only going to take one hour to destroy this place. One day. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets. For the Most High hath avenged her. It's like it. For the Most High hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a, took up a stone like a great millstone and cast into the sea, saying, Thus with violence 
shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all and shall be found no more at all. Similar to what the Lord told Moses about the Egyptians. These Egyptians you shall see shall be no more. Esau Edom is known as the modern day Egyptian. He's not going to be in power anymore after ultimately this place is destroyed. This is Psalms 21, which I have on deck. Psalms 21. <clears throat> Psalms 21 and 8. And it reads, thy hand shall find out all thy enemies. Who's the hand? Yahweh Shai. Thy right hand shall find out those that hate thee. Thou shall make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger. And the Lord is like it. Thou shalt make them as a fiery oven in the time of thine anger, the thermonuclear destruction. The Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall swallow them up in his wrath, and the fire shall devour them. But wait, there's more. Psalms 21 and 10. Their fruit shall thou, shall thou destroy from the earth. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth. Their works, acts, deeds, they're not going to be remembered. In, in the kingdom of heaven for being this mighty power and for being the hammer of the earth. They're going to be remembered for who they really are. The lowest of lows, the bottom of bottoms. They're going to be the new nigga in the kingdom of heaven. Psalms 21 and 10. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth and their seed from among the children of men. Eventually they're going to be Obadiah 1 and 18. Now let's go into Deuteronomy 32. Matter of fact, since we're on it, since we're on it. Isaiah 34 and 5, Isaiah 34 and 5, because the Edomites are known as the people of the curse of, to judgment from the heavenly father. Let's just prove it. Isaiah 34 and 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. This is talking about the missiles, man. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Idumia is the Greek way of saying Edom. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. Let's get this in another version. It's a lock in. I'm a little excited, so let me let me calm down. Yeah. Woo! Isaiah 34 and 5 in the NIV. And he reads, My sword has drunk its fill in the heavens. The sword is symbolic of the missiles. That's the part of the Heavenly Father's army. You know? The missiles, the, the, the nukes, they're part of the Heavenly Father's army. My sword has drunk its fill in the heavens. See, it descends in judgment on Edom. Man, the people I have totally destroyed. <laughs> the people I have totally destroyed. And before it physically happens, it's going to happen spiritually with this word going out. Because what are we also known as? We're also known, let's prove it, Isaiah 49. We're the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father, man. Isaiah 49. Let's start with one. Listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, ye people from afar. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Haoshai, called me from the womb. The prophets, they've been called from the womb. From the bowels of my mother had he made mention of my name. And he had made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand had he hid me and, like a, and made me like a polished shaft in his quiver had he hid me. Yeah. yeah. And this word is damaging Esau. This word is tearing Esau, Edom, a new one, man. Just like it's supposed to. You know? The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. They're spiritual. And Esau, Edom, he's not a spiritual man. And he's getting his ass whooped. To the 144th degree. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. And Barak at the Yahweh Bashim I'm going to get one or two more and close on out. This is just something that was on my spirit. I seen uh, a few beloved brothers and a, I think a beloved elder. I think Manata Zakba put a, a video regarding this topic. And there was something I was thinking about putting up a video upon, uh, vid, putting up a video about um, through the spirit in the past day or two. So I was like, you know, what a perfect time, you know, just to uh, strike while the iron's hot. So, Lord willing, this is edifying. Deuteronomy 32 and 35. And you have war in the air as well. Because you have, you know, Iran and Israel. They're attacking each other. And eventually, America is going to be drawing into that, drawn into that conflict. And eventually, all those nations, they're going to launch their nukes over here. 
and burn this place to smithereens. And rightfully so. Revelation 17 and 16. Let's prove it with a precept. Because that conflict is slowly but surely the least of the flock is going to draw America into that battle. The least of the flock is talking about the small hatters, the 1948ers, the Amalekites. That's their biblical nationality. I'll call them by their biblical nationality. Amalek. That's who you are. The, 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 the JJs, you know, the counterfeit J's. You know, the counterfeit J's used to get back in 2005. We used to get them from the Nigerians. $25 a pop. Counterfeit J's. They look real in the club, though. Revelation 17 and 16. It's like it. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, and shall burn her with fire. What fire? Fireman. Fireman. Luke 12 and 49. Luke 12 and 49. What did the Lord say? Luke 12 and 49. And it reads, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it, all, if it be already kindled? That's what's going to happen. Because this place is going to be a, a burnt mountain. Let's get that. Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51 and 25. And it reads, Jeremiah 51 and 25, and it reads, <clears throat> yeah, let's get 24, and it reads, and I will render unto Babylon, Babylon the great America, and to all the inhabitants of the Chaldeans, all their evil that they have done in Zion, in your sight, saith the Lord, now I got to go back, Amos 9 and 8, behold the eyes of the Lord, power upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Hashai, because he's going to reserve a remnant. He's going to reserve a remnant. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indians, and Seminole Indians, you so-called Haitians. This gospel, this word, is only for the elect to be saved by. Everyone else is bad news. And but two-thirds of our people who it's bad news for is going to be good news for them in the kingdom because they're going to ultimately be in their right mind, you know. They just, they just don't have the spirit to receive it on this side. But in the kingdom, all of our people are going to be righteous, man. Even the most lowest of Jake, he's going to have a crown on his head. And Jake out there sleeping in the cold. Jake out there bugged out, drugged out, banged out, you know, hoed out, you know. They're going to ultimately be in their right mind, you know. Now, the women, they're not going to be ruling, but they're going to be with the righteous man who's going to be ruling. There ain't going to be no hoes uh, of the daughters of Zion in the kingdom. You know, our people are going to be in their right mind. All thy people shall be righteous, roughly paraphrasing. Thy people shall be all righteous. What was I going to get? That's what I get for talking. Revelation 18 and 4. That's what I was going to get. Yeah. Revelation 18 and 4. And I heard another voice saying, come out of her, my people, that ye may not be partakers of her sins. The eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom and that ye... Receive not of her plagues, what? Nuclear destruction. For her sins have reached unto the heaven. This place is so evil. This place's sins have reached unto the heavens. For judgment, you know. And the Mosai hath remembered her iniquities. Reward even, reward her even as she had rewarded you. It's a righteous thing to recompense tribulation to those that troubled you. And you troubled us. So... You know, ultimately the end is not, you know, the end that watches for thee, man. The end has come. The end has come. And end is coming. The end has come. It watches for thee. Reward her even as she had rewarded you and double unto her according to all her works. According to her works, like you. And double unto her according to her works in the cup which she had filled Fill to her double. And it says in the, the, in, in the Lord's hand is a cup. And that cup is symbolic of judgment. Slavery. And that's what you're going to have to drink. And you're going to have to drink the dregs of it. Esau, Edom, Amalek. Starting with Amalek. You're going to have to drink the dregs of it. Now let's go into Jeremiah 51. 
in Jeremiah 51 and 24. And I will render unto Babylon. How long have we been going? Make it 30 minutes if possible. Okay. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of the Chaldea all the evil that they have done in the sight of your, in the sight. Slacky, I'm a little excited. I'm calm down. Jeremiah 51 to 24. And I will render unto Babylon and to all the inhabitants of Chaldea all their evil that they have done in Zion in your sight, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. Mountain is symbolic of kingdoms, governments, big governments, you know. Behold, I am against thee, O destroying mountain. This man has destroyed the whole earth. He's constantly spraying, spraying chemtrails in the skies, destroying the minds of the people, you know, through pseudoscience and through, uh, th through the through the public and education and the indoctrination system, you know, through through his media, which goes back to media and witchcraft, sorcery, casting spells and enchantments in the people through movies, through television shows, you know, through sitcoms and through music. This nigga destroyed everything, you know. The food, everything is defiled in this place. This place is in dire need of new management, and new management is on the way. A new rulership, a new a, 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 a kingdom where ultimately we're in dwelleth righteousness, man. And that's what we that's what we haste for. You know? Jeremiah fifty one and twenty five, Behold, and I am against thee, O destroying mountain, saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Hashai, which destroys all the earth. And I will stretch out my hand upon thee, and will roll thee down from the rocks, and will make thee a burnt mountain. A burnt mountain. Yeah. That's what's going to happen. It's, but wait, there's more. And they shall not take a, thee a stone for a corner, nor a stone for foundations. But thou shall be desolate forever, saith the Lord. Thou shall be desolate forever. Let's get it. Amos 9 8 again. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. Saving, then I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Let's go to Jeremiah 49. Jeremiah 49. Let's get this on deck. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 32. Deuteronomy 32. Yep. Deuteronomy 32 and 35. To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. Their foot shall slide in due time. And we're in that time where Esau is losing grip, losing power. You know, that his feet is sliding, you know. For the, for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. The, the day of the calamity of who? Jeremiah 49 and 7. And it reads, Jeremiah 49 and 7. And it reads, concerning Edom. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, of hosts, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of heaven's armies, is wisdom no more in teeming, is counsel perished from the prudent, is their wisdom vanished, their feet are sliding. You saw Edom is through. No one trusts you anymore. You know? Metro and uh, future. We don't, we don't trust you. You know? Slack you. Jeremiah 49 and 8, flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of the damned, for I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him. The calamity of who? Of Esau upon him, the time that I will visit him. And he's being visited first by the ghost of Yahweh Shai, his prophets, his men, his brethren, his friends, the men who he laid down his life for, the spirits who were with him in the beginning of creation. The, the, the first spirits created, you know. His family that was with him in the beginning in the heavens. And rightfully so. Rightfully so, man. This is. Where are we at? Where are we at? Slack it. Um, now, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, let's get this again. Isaiah. Isaiah. 34 and 5. And it reads, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse to judgment. That's the people of the curse of judgment. The Idumeans, the Edomites, they're the people cursed to judgment, man. 
What's that judgment? Slavery, captivity, and to be made no more. No more. No champagne, no rice. See, so do not pass, go, do not collect $200. Don't do none of that shit. You through. Deuteronomy 32 and 35. To me belongeth vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time. For the there their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make case that they are their calamity. Whose calamity? Esau's calamity. Jeremiah 49 again. Jeremiah 49 and 8. Flee ye, turn back, dwell deep, O inhabitants of the dead. For I will bring the calamity of Esau upon him. The time that I will visit him. And he's being visited. You know, there shall be a, there shall be a visitation upon the idols of the Gentiles. And that visitation starts with the word going out. And eventually... The physical visitation. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 41. I'm going to close on out. And get two, get one or two more. Deuteronomy 32 and 41. And it reads, And if I wet my glittering sword, that word wet goes into the Hebrew word chanan, which goes into to sharpen. You know? Let's prove it. The Hebrew word chanan. Now, shanan. Slack it. Not Hanan, but Shanan. The Wadi Habashi Masha for allowing me to catch myself. The Hebrew word is Shanan, not Hanan, but Shanan. Shanan. And it goes into to sharpen. Yeah. To sharpen. Because you got to sharpen a sword, you know, so it can it can be used better. Also, metaphorically, the tongue. <laughs> yeah. To assail anyone with sharp sayings. To cut Esau even to pieces, to heal him by the word, man. Therefore, have I hewed them by the prophets? This is talking about the, the, the nukes, you know. But we're, which is a part of the Heavenly Father's army, but we're a part of the Heavenly Father's army spiritually. The nukes are the part of the, are the, part of the physical army of the Heavenly Father that's going to do the physical visitation. But he, Esau even is going to be hit with the spiritual visitation first before the physical uh, visitation. Not to be too deep. But that's literally what's happening, man. That's why this nigga's, you know, taking down the internet here and there, messing with live streams, messing with views, taking down videos, wants to take down the internet over here. You know, uh, online hate speech. You can't talk about the JJs. This nigga's hurt. Esau Edom's massively, you know, massively hurt by this word, man. Because he's being discovered. His skirt's being lifted up. You know, he's being called out. There was a brother in the, uh, I want to say the Buffalo camp that did a video. And he got normal people in the break room calling Esau, calling them, yeah, this is yeah, they, the Edomites. That This truth, ultimately, you can't control it. You can't bottle it up. You know, that's something that Esau, Edom can't control. It's, it's overwhelming. You got normal Jake out there hearing bits and pieces of the truth. And ultimately, that spirit that's in Jake... It's getting riled up. And it's only going to get more intensified the closer we get to the end. Deuteronomy 32 and 41. And it reads, if I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will war them that hate me. Yeah. I will make my arrows drunk with blood. The arrows is talking about the nukes. And my sword shall devour flesh. That's what's going to happen. And all... And that the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of the revenges upon the enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Let's keep on reading. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people. For he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. I got to get Revelation 18 once again. Revelation 18. We'll close on that right here. Well, Lord willing, he found this lesson edifying. Just something that was on my spirit to talk about the destruction. Because we're living in the times where all the signs are here where the Lord is showing that he's ready to visit this place. You know, he's ready to come back. And that's synonymous with the salvation of the elect, but also the destruction of this place. And this place, it needs it, man. It needs it. Revelation 18 and 20. And it reads, rejoice over her, thou heaven. And ye holy apostles and prophets who are prophesying against this place. The prophets that have been before me and before the of old prophesied both against 
many countries and great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence and the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. That's going to be the title of this video. The eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom, man. And Barakat the Ahabashi Ma'ashad that we understand the, the, ser the severity of what we're a part of, you know, and ultimately the, 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 uh, the song in its completion, in its entirety, you know, we're all, we're all able to sing and, and, and not be out of tune. It's to sing the same song all around the world, same song. You know, anybody was born back in the day, you remember that song, Digital Underground. That's what we are, the Digital Underground. <laughs> That's the spirit, you know, the Digital Underground, because we're, 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 uh, we're on the Internet. But this message is only un it's underground because only a few select members and initiated members are able to sing the song and to be able to understand the lyrics. Everybody else, it sounds like Charlie Brown school's teacher. Wah, 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 wah. That's what we sound like. But to, to, to each other, it's a beautiful song, you know. Revelation 18 and 20. Rejoice over her, thou heaven and ye holy apostles and prophets. For the Most High hath avenged you on her. And a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone. And cast into the sea, saying, thus with violence, thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down. And shall be found no more at all. What did the Lord tell Moses? These Egyptians you shall see no more. Will be no more. No more in power. Yeah. Exodus 14 and 13. And it reads. Yeah. Yeah. The Lord told Moses to tell the people better yet. So let me correct myself. I stand corrected. This is Exodus 14 and 13. Yeah. Exodus 14 and 13. In the KJV. Wait for it to pull up the KJV. It's not going to let me pull it up. It's, let, me go, let me pull it up. I'll just get one of these other versions. Exodus 14 and 13, the NIV. Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm and you will see the deliverance. Of the Lord, do you see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today? The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. Let's get this in the KJV. Exodus 14 and 13 in the KJV. And it reads, Exodus 14 and 13. And it reads, Come on. I want, I don't need the, I don't need the meaning. We got the oil over here. Through spirit and poppy, Abashi Mashai. Exodus 14 and 13. Slack you. Exodus 14 and 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not and stand still. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still. See and see the salvation of the Lord. Yahweh Yahushai. Fear ye not, stand still. You know, wait ye upon me. That's what the Lord told us in Zephaniah 3 and 8. And see the salvation of the Lord, Yahweh, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians, who ye see today, ye shall see them no more for Slaket. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, and you saw them as known as the modern day Egyptian, ye shall see them again no more forever. No more. Revelation, where are we at? We're getting something. Yeah, Revelation 18 and 20. One. I'll start again from 20. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for the most high had avenged you on her. And he took up a in the in a in a mighty angel, took up a stone like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down. And shall be found no more at all. No more at all. So the Lord, he has his eyes upon this sinful place. And he's ready to destroy it. All the signs are here. What's going on in the earth. The signs in the heavens. You got uh, certain rivers and bodies of water turning red or turning into blood. Earthquakes. You know, uh, massive, massive raining out there in Dubai. You know, Esau, Edom. He's losing his marbles. He's ready to push this MOTB into the next phase while all these people are distracted with all these distractions, you know, 
And ultimately, all that leads up to, all that leads up to the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai, which is simultaneous with the destruction of this place. So with that, I'm going to close on out. Our Lord willing, He found this lesson edifying and in closing. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and infinite glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachak Radash, double honors, and to the head of apostles of Great Millstone, who do rule well and teach well, Shalom, and to the elders and the elder bishops of Great Millstone as well, Shalom, Shalom. Until next time, next lesson, next camp session, Shalom, Wah, Ababa, Ba. Soon. Soon, 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 Shalom, Shalom.